Shout out to all the VIP members watching this full interview on day one. If you're not a VIP and you waited a full year to watch, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a member for just $2.99 a month. And if you haven't subscribed, you already know what to do. Enjoy the interview. <laughs> Yo, Jay Aston, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? What's going on? What's going on? Listen, man, long time coming, long time coming, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Facts, facts. Listen, uh, I uh, I feel like, you know, uh, it's been a long time. Like I said, you know, I know the people, they're so interested in knowing, you know, like, how have you been this whole time? I mean, I'm maintaining my head all right, good. Yeah? I mean, I'm, I'm chilling, good. Bad, bad. I mean, it's not, it's not for me. It's not too much to say. Where I'm chilling, we're maintaining. Where. Got you, got you. For the people that don't know, um, you have been on on Rikers for a while. You know, at this point, you know how long how ha how long have you been locked up for? I'm going on two years now. You heard? God damn. Um, I, you know, I, yeah. That's what they do. You heard? They 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 hold you and just make you shit. You heard? Got you, got you. You know, the, the the case is open, so we don't have to get into the logistics of things. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but do you feel comfortable letting the people know what you are locked up for? Well, what you're being accused of. Allegedly, I'm accused of you, right? For me, if I don't want to say, man, you know who for me, you got to figure out, man. But yeah. me. Yeah. Got you. I mean. Got you. You know. When when I asked people um to send in some questions, you know, one of the questions they had was like, um, the day that they they came and got you, like, you know, what was that like for you? Were, were you surprised or were you like, what was that experience like for you? I mean, it's just like it's just like how fast your life could change in a second, you heard? Mm -hmm. I mean, one one day you're free, then one day you're not, you heard? Yeah, got you, got you. Is there um you know, is there anything you could like? I I know there's so many people going through shit right now. Like I know like um you probably see it yourself. Like well, hearing it, all the kids that's rapping now getting locked up. Is there any like advice going through things that you've been through? Is there any advice you can give to the ones that are free or might be in the streets right now? I mean, just just stay on stay on whatever path you want. You heard? Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't try to put on a persona for nobody. Be yourself. Be original. Because right? yeah. niggas, niggas, niggas try to be somebody else. Then they might land in this situation right here and be straight bitching right? Yeah. So be yourself. Don't don't try to put on a persona for people. Right? Gotcha. Gotcha. Man, you know, are things looking in your favor right now? Uh, everything looking good right now for me. Okay. So uh, for me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that bell job so I could be right back in the town. Got you. Oh, they, they didn't give you bell. Nah, I have bell. You okay, heard okay. That shit just too damn high. You heard? Oh yeah. W w how much is that shit? That shit is ten million dollars. You heard? Ten million? Yeah. God damn. You see, <laughs> that's crazy. Cause I, I remember growing up as a kid, I used to hear them say they kind of give you bill according to how much money you make. But I guess that ain't the case. Cause nigga, ten mil is wow. That's what they do. They let the they let the district attorney violate you and I hear it. And then all that they decide, all right, we're gonna violate this nigga. Wow. So if I'm they not hear, they hear he's a rapper, all right, he must be making some type of money. Yeah, damn. If 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 I'm not mistaken, that would mean you would have to pay one million, right? Hell yeah. What? Damn, son. Well, I'm I'm all I would say is like that. That shit is fucked up. It sounds crazy, and and I pray for the best for you, man. Well, nah, yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get right, get things right. right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, so um, you know, moving moving off that, you know, let, let let's talk about where where Jay Aston is from. You know, talk to me a little bit about your your background, where you was raised, and all of that. I mean, I me, mean, I'm from Crown Heights. Okay. I mean. It's pretty, it's pretty, like, everything. I'm from Christ, man. I'm, but I'm from everywhere. If you want to be technical, I can go anywhere. Anywhere my feet take me. Girl. I'm good everywhere. <laughs> That's I'm good up. everywhere. That's what's up. Got you. Now, now I, 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 I'm not from Brooklyn, so I'm not too familiar with everything, but 
I know I hear a little rich screaming Burl side and all that. Is that is that the sick that's where you're from, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Got you. You know, um like we all know how, how tough these areas could be. You know what I'm saying? For you personally, what was something aside aside from death that you probably seen? What was something that, that you experienced out there? Like things that you've seen on a day to day basis growing up out there? I, I just seen robberies, yeah. carjackings, all types of shit, right? Crazy. How old were you when you were seeing all that shit? I'm pretty young. I don't know. I don't know if people think I'm old. I'm only 20 years old. I just turned out. You heard? Damn, son. I just turned out. You heard? <laughs> I'm pretty young. Yeah. So I'm about 14, 13, 14, 15. I'm seeing this shit, right? Yeah. That's, 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 that shit that, you know, it's crazy. I be talking to people and I'm always like, yo, we go through so much grown man shit at such a young age, yeah. man. Word. Like, like, how do you, how did that affect you watching all that go down? What was the thoughts you went when what were the thoughts that went through your mind? I feel like I feel like that's a big reason why I'm still alive today. Cause it's just a thing called minding your business, you heard. <laughs> if it don't concern you, you don't got nothing to do with that. You heard. It's <laughs> niggas that just put themselves out there and now look, you get yourself into some shit for me. Yeah. In order to survive, you got a mind with yours, you heard. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's a fact. I say that all the time, man. Um when people be like, what's one of the key to the life? Focus on you, bro. Body your business. <laughs> just, just worry about what you got going on. Yeah, got you. Got you. How You're about only you? responsible for you. Exactly. Exactly. How about your um dynamic in your household? What was what were the living conditions with, with your mother, father, and siblings like? What was that like? For me, it's me and my mom and my sister. Okay. It's me and my mom and my sister. Uh, okay. For me. I chop it up with my dad on occasions, bro. For me, it's just yeah. me and my mom and my sister. Yeah, what's um your sister's older than you, younger than you? What's that? Nah, nah, nah. We six years apart. She's younger. Than me. Okay, okay. So, 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 what is that? Do you speak to her now? Yeah, I talk to okay. my sister every day. Okay. What is um? How does she feel about um? How... I mean, my sister's fake, like sack. Cause you got with my sister in middle school. You heard? I was in the town. I'm rapping for me. I'm getting views. So it's like there's younger kids tuning in and shit. Kids, she goes to school and shit. So it's like school come. They know that's my sister for me. So it's like people asking about it, and it's just like that's not like my sister don't. She, I'm not gonna say she into the streets and shit, but for me, she know what's going on. She's tapped in for me. So yeah, it's just she tell me about she tell me about the questions that I get asked and shit. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a fact. Um, how about how about your mother? What's what's that relationship like with you and Mama Love? That's Mama Love. Damn, word, word. That's Mama Love. Yeah, she she's strong. Yeah, yeah. Got you. Hundred percent. Word. You know they always say like um when you going through situations like this you kind of you kind of see who's the people who have your back and and I always tell of course. People, well, of course. I, I always tell niggas like you know we we grow up screaming like you know fuck bitches and this and that but i remember when i've been through the toughest time my mother was there my sisters was there you know what i'm saying yeah. so so what is that like um watching how much support your mother gives you throughout whatever you go through ups and downs i i just know that's my mom you heard? yeah my mom gonna support me no matter what you heard? got you no matter what mm -hmm. My mama know I'd be that wrong, but I'm still her son. You know? Word up. <laughs> Word. That's a fact, you know. Um, in the song, uh, I, I was listening to Block Messages. You know, you say, uh, tell my pops I ain't never need him. Nigga made me a demon. I, I said that from the heart. Um, you know, I know you say you speak to him now. Um, was it, did y'all have a relationship in the past or is that something that's starting now? You feel me? Think about my pops. My pops told me how to be tough, you heard. Mm -hmm. But my pops is not a consistent dad. You know those dads. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> not a consistent dad. He comes around, then he's gone, then he comes around, then he's gone. So it's like, it got to the point where it's like, the neighborhood I'm in, I see my dad, it's like, I'm seeing one of my men's because I'm just walking around and I bump into him all the time. Oh, shit. I mean, that's my dad, though, you heard. But I say that because it's like, there's niggas out here that really fall back on their dad, you heard? My dad gonna get me out the situation. My dad going for me. I don't need my dad for that, you heard? Yeah. 
my dad already made. He already, he already told me how to bop and how to move. He what to do and how to handle situations. Yeah. So that's why I say to my pops, I ain't never need him. Nigga made a demon. Got you. Got you. Was he, was he kind of like, um, we ain't got to get too much into it, but he was he kind of into the streets as well, kind of gave you some game on that? Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. The reason why I talk to my dad so much now is because my dad's in dip biz, you heard? Mm. So it's like, so it's like I go to him on advice and shit when, shit, cause for me, you're not going to know everything about this shit because this shit is like school, you heard? You got to learn things to know how to maneuver, you heard? Yeah. So for me, I probably call him and ask him a few things or for me, even when I just want to check on him, what's up? Or, or I know I ain't speak to him in a minute. I know you want to check on me. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. What's, what's some of the, uh, what's some of the advice he does give you right now? <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> that's why like, I like, I think that's like the, the, the key of life right now. Word up. Word, word. <laughs> You know, um, before before the streets, what kind of kid was Jay Aston? What what was you into that people might be like, oh shit, you know, this is shocking. What was me? I was I was I wouldn't say I was a bad kid, but I was a kid that got into shit. But like, I played basketball, you heard. Mm -hmm. But like the streets was always there, you heard. It's like yeah, the people I'm around for me. I played basketball and shit, but and this is just the environment I'm in. These the kids I'm growing up with. This is the shit we getting into. Gotcha. And then after a while, it's like, I'm getting into so much shit. That we start beef with niggas. We got niggas starting beef with us. So it's like, and now I can't even go to this park down the block and play in that tournament because it's up with them niggas over there. Mm -hmm. So why the fuck am I doing this now? Yeah. I mean? Gotcha. And, and what, what age would you say that kind of began? Like, like gravitating to it, kind of... Getting in the beef left and right. How old were you? I was I was fifteen. I remember this like yesterday. I was mm -hmm. fifteen and it was just I was sitting down one day and I'm like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Fuck basketball. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, fuck basketball, you yeah. I'm gonna do something else, you heard? Yeah. And from there, like, I, that's when I started rapping, right? But I never really mm -hmm. dropped music. I never really dropped music. So people tell me I used to make trailers and, and little snippets and shit. People used to tell me, like, yo, you got to shoot a video. Yo, you got to take that shit serious. Yeah. But okay. me, I'm thinking, like, and I'm just a young kid. And I don't give a fuck about this shit either. I just want to do it through you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got you. You know, that, 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 um, that, that's definitely something that, that I feel like a lot of people go through that realization of, Shit, you know, I'm going through a lot over here. Forget that. Let, let me, I got to try yeah. something else. You know? Because it's like, it's like, people people know when not to get themselves into shit. You heard? Mm -hmm. If I know I can't go there, why would I go there? Because mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, I'm going to get myself into something. Yeah. Now what? When I could have just prevented that. Gotcha. You. you know, I don't think the world knows how serious things could be like you know how you saying, yo, I can't go over there or I can't go over there. Like, it's crazy to me because it's like, damn, like, living in that neighborhood, how far can somebody go when they got that, static that, all over? That'd be the thing. Um, that'd be the thing. It's really team no locking out there, bro. If you, if you it's, it's a pride thing. People know they're not supposed to go here, but they'll still go because they want to show how dominant or tough they are. Yeah. Fuck that, you hear it? You got to make sure you make the whole 24 and then another 24. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Or I, I, I was reading somewhere and it was just like, yo, man, um, sometimes we want to get validation from people. We want to prove like, yo, nigga, I could do this. I could do that. But the real the real validation is being able, like you said, to wake up every single day doing what you love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 24 hours. Nah, it's a fact. I mean, I, I used to, I just love, when I was in the town, I love breaking up, going to the stoop, going to the stoop, for me, playing in the next gym, mm -hmm. going to the stoop, playing in the next gym. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And order for me, embrace what you got going on. You got to make sure you're alive the next 24, but you got to stay on, you got to be on, on point at all times. Exactly. Exactly. Gotcha. You know, um, we seen you make tracks with uh, King Eli and Little Rich a lot, you know. How did you meet uh, Little Rich? That's that's Bruno. That's Bruno to okay, me. Okay. Yo, to me. 
Gotcha. That's like it was, it was, it's a group of it's a group of younger niggas for me because I'm younger. So sure. like, I, I was older than me by a couple of years. They got a couple of years of me. Okay. You know I mean? So it's like that was kind of like the older bro to the younger bros. Got you. Got you. Me and then it got to the age where I just branched off. Like for me, I'm going to chill with the older niggas. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That, that, so how, how long would you say y'all know one another thus far? Some years now. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, some years now. Got you. Is um a, a question I like to ask people is like um we know we see that relationship with Kenny La Little Rich. What's 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 some moments that I right, you 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 win the position you win right now when you think about the good moments, what's some moments that come to mind when you think about those two guys? I think about it. I, for me, and sometimes it don't even be like video shoots and shit. It just be times you probably chilling in my sidewalk crib or we just in a piece, you Yeah. For me, because think about a video, think about a video shoot. That's like, for me, that's times you're supposed to remember, but it's just the little times like where we just chilling, ain't shit going on. Mm-hmm. And we trying to figure out what's the next move. We chilling, we vibing. Or, or. Yeah. I always think about times like that. Cause it be times where I'm just here and I'd be like, damn, I wish I could talk to one of the bros right now. Okay. Or, or I wish I was with the cars right now. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. When and how does Jay Aston start to make music? Like, oh, man. For me, I don't even know how to answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Cause it's like, I don't, I don't, it's a thing about me. I don't just, Music is like not something that like it just happened. You heard? Yeah. I'm like, it's, it's, I don't know. You heard? And then times it's three, four in the morning. I'm probably out writing a song. You heard? I just, yeah. I don't know. I don't just play it on saying, yo, I'm going to write a song today and tomorrow. Like, I probably, I don't know. I hear something. Oh, I like this. I'm going to write to this. Well, yeah. I probably say something in my head. You heard? I'll write it down. Gotcha. Gotcha. I know you said you started around like 15, though, right? Like 15. Yeah. Got you. Okay, okay. The first video y'all dropped was that together. Was it Don't Panic? Yes, that was the first ever video I did. Got you. You know, you know, here's these three guys that 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 the world doesn't really know yet. They released their first video and then it starts, you know, attention, attention. This is a fucking borough side production. You know, are you are you surprised at the reviews that it got when it first dropped? I ain't gonna lie, we made the shit. I right, boom, we make it. Only my verse is on it, so it's like mm-hmm. it wasn't even a whole song, okay? okay. So I made it, then we made a little trailer for me, posted on the book. Shit, I had 15k in the night. So now we all just think about it, like what the fuck? So Eli jumps on, Eli throws the hook and he throws the verse. Yeah. Boom. Allah, Allah sneaks on. He doesn't even tell niggas he throws the verse on there. <laughs> so now, so now niggas get a message. It's just a song you heard. So now we listen to it, like oh nah. We gotta record this. We gotta, we gotta film this. It's quiet. Yeah. And then once we filmed it, for me, dropped it. Um, shout out to Kane Frame. Kane Frame recorded that for us. You heard? That's really for me. That's bro and them two. Kane Frame. We Kane Frame recorded that for us. I mean, dropped the shit. That shit had like ten k in the night. We're like, oh now nah, we got one. Uh, yeah. We got one. This is gonna go crazy. Right? And then it's like I got school the next day. I know all the niggas is school going on. Everybody got something to say about this one. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Now that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, oh, so you in school at the time when this is dropping? Yeah, hell yeah. What's that experience like? <laughs> what that felt like? It was like, I don't know, you feel me? You're in school, like, niggas knew, niggas knew I rapped and shit, but it's like, I never really had no videos, bro. Yeah. I just had audio. So now it's like, oh, you got a video out. He, he, he really taking it serious, I guess, because you can't just drop one video and disappear now. Exactly. <laughs> Kids without one video, so now you gotta be consistent, but you gotta keep dropping videos now. So I know this is what niggas is expecting me to do. So niggas ask me, yo, when the next video dropping? What are you, what are you showing next? What are you recording next? Let me hear some, let me hear some heat you got. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, though. Better they, better they on you trying to see what you have to release next than them not paying attention to you at all. Word. You know, um, you know, in the beginning, you know, that's LR saying attention, attention, right? Yeah. Got you. That, that, that's his slogan right there. That's him. That's all him. Got you. Okay, okay. You know, I know you said, I I feel like I, 
I think I hear him also say LR Eli, and at that point in time, he says Jay Brown. Was that your name originally? Jay Brown. At that time, it was like, damn, where's my rap name going to be? Okay. Because, like, I wanted to be different. If your accent just stands out, you know how many J Brims there are? You probably run into 10,000. You probably go on Facebook and it's, you search for J Brims, you're going to get 60,000 results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're going to get a lot of results. You yeah. search for J that's only coming out one time unless you got fake pages. That's a fact. And so that's what yeah. I mean. I'm just like, fuck it, we're going to go with the J Aston. Gotcha. Gotcha. I right, bet. And you know, for up to this day, you know, what's what's your what's your favorite song that you put out? I feel like my favorite song, one of my favorite songs is Atlantic. I love Atlantic. Gotcha. With me, uh, uh Eli, you heard. Mm -hmm. I love Atlantic. Why is that? I don't know. It's just like that day was just active, so I just love the song. Like the song matched the day and that mood and whatever was going on in the bit, like everything just adds up. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I think when I interviewed Lil Rich, he was like he didn't really like his verse on that song. I think. <laughs> I love the weird guy. I love, I love, yo, bro. I love That's his favorite line. I don't like my verse on this shit. <laughs> That's his favorite line. And then we always going, we always going that. And I won't be, I won't go that. I thought you ain't like your verse, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that ass, right? <laughs> That's what's up. But you know, I was watching your um, I was watching your video for Hats Up, and and to my surprise, I seen, I seen TG Crippy, Kenzo Baller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that's crazy because right now I'm in jail with a lot of Bronx niggas. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, I don't, I was in jail for that way. You feel me? So I don't really know. Like, I'm just getting to know niggas. Like right now, I'm, I'm around like the 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 RPT niggas and shit. For me, I chat those niggas are hard body. I listen to their music. I feel with they, I fuck with their music. You heard? Okay, I mean, okay. so now I'm telling them stories and shit about me being in the town. I'm telling them, like, yeah, I was around the Kenzo nigga, the TG Crippy nigga. I don't really know niggas like that. Where them niggas from anyway? Yeah. Me, my son's out there. That's the chat. Shout out to my son's out there. For me, free bro too. For me. Okay. okay. That's 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 those that's his group of people. For me. Gotcha. It's just networking for me. You know niggas and they know niggas. Now you just me and other niggas for me. Got you. Got you. Did when <laughs> I know uh them and RPT kinda go at it where they like, nah, my nigga, we not I don't I don't really know about none of that shit. Yeah, yeah. I try to stay out of that you heard cause who I fuck with is who I fuck with. I don't jump with nobody paying why you heard. I'm a real nigga at the end of the day for me. Yeah, yeah. I'ma yeah. let niggas know that's y'all business, you heard. I fuck with y'all and I fuck with y'all, you heard. Leave me out of that shit, you heard. I'm from my whole side at the end of the day, you heard. Got you, got you. So you don't really know TG and them like that. It's more so Z Z Z um, Z people. Yeah, I don't really. I mean, I chopped it up with Kenzo and TG that night, but I don't really. I mean, I don't have no relationship and shit with them. I don't really know them like that. Mm -hmm. Got you. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you know, just just you saying, um, you saying that you kind of connected with the RPT niggas, listening to their music, you feel what what's going, what they rapping about, um. You know what is it? What is it about them and their music that that you connect? Yo, to? that's crazy. Cause I was just telling them like, yo, y'all niggas be talking crazy. <laughs> y'all <laughs> niggas be talking crazy. Cause I, be, I, I listen, and I be like, damn, Brooklyn rap is like, niggas, niggas be dissing niggas, but it's like, it's not as severe as y'all. Y'all niggas is crazy out there. <laughs> y'all niggas is wild, yeah. and I like it cause it's like, it's not like y'all saying no bullshit either though. Yeah. You got to really listen to what they saying, for me. Mm -hmm. Got to... And uh, uh, one thing I really, really, really fuck with is Lee Drilly, for me. That's what I really mean. fuck with the Lee Drilly guy, you heard? That's the, for me, I fuck with, bro. That's the smile right there. Got you. Got you. Right. That's what's up. Right okay. now, right now, I'm getting full with me. I'm getting... I got in tour with Dando from RPT. Okay. Um, I listen to D-Thing. I fuck with my son D-Thing. That's a funny nigga. You heard? I look coming to a D-Thing. Mm -hmm. um, who else? I'm, I'm just now getting to it. Um, Shy K. Okay. I mean, I mean Shy K and shit. I mean, who else? I listen to the... the I don't know. You heard? Like, it's just a lot of them. There's too many niggas where I listen to UGs. You heard? Yeah, UGs. Yeah. I fuck with the UGs guy. That, that's another guy. That, he's top five disrespectful. That nigga be talking crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that nigga talk crazy. You, you know what's crazy? I was, um, I was listening, I was watching you bringing up Shai K. I was watching one of his interviews and he said, Brooklyn, Brooklyn is like very lyrical and all that, but the Bronx, they just, 
they just they go crazy. They say whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. At the Bronx, they just say whatever come to their mind. Right? <laughs> if they like it, if they like it and they rhyme, and he knows it's gonna be controversial, I'm saying that shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that, yo, bro. I was just listening to a few of these songs, and I'm just like, nah, these niggas is wild out there. Yeah. Brooklyn keep it classy, or you know, Brooklyn keep it classy, or <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Bronx on their own shit right now. Word, word, bet, bet. <laughs> bet. When you come home, what you think? You bumping the Brooklyn drill or the Bronx drill? What you doing? I go around into like, right now, like in the town, when I was in the town, I was really listening to a lot of drill music. But right now, I'm just catching up on the drill music. But, but lately, I've really been listening to like platform, like major platform artists and shit for me. Okay. Like, I really, I don't know, I'm catching myself listening to Drake a lot now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I, I catch myself listening to Drake. I like, I fuck with Drake too, because the nigga videos, that nigga videos is just weird. Like, he just, he do, he do whatever comes to his mind too, you really. Got you. You know people going to ask, well, they're going to ask, like, how the hell y'all, y'all, y'all watching, they, they showing it over there, in there, or like? For me, niggas, for me, niggas good on the DVD, niggas request what songs they want. Uh, uh -huh. Niggas get on the phone, y'all heard about this song, we got to get this. So I just listened to this on the phone, we got to get this, you heard. Got you. Got you. I bet, bet. You know, um, in, in, in some of the music, I hear you talk about somebody named um, I don't know if his name is MG. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Oh yeah, yeah, MG. That's big bro. That's big bro. Got you. You know, you, you you say a song a lot. His name a lot. I heard it in the warm up. No role model. You know, you say uh, no role model. I, I looked up to MG. You know, who was he to you? That's that's the menace right there. Okay. That's big bro. Like. Gotcha. I, I, I genuinely love Bro so much because it's like, that's a tough nigga right there. That's a scary mm -hmm. nigga, you heard? Yeah. But like, for me, niggas don't fuck with Bro. <laughs> yeah. Niggas don't fuck with Bro, man. That's what I feel for me. Yeah, I ain't yeah. got to say too much about Big Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, um, he, he obviously, he passed away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. You know, when I hear you bring up his name and, and all that, and you speak highly of him, you know, I always ask guys, seeing somebody that they kind of admired or, or kind of looked up to, you know, what is that like when they got to deal with that, seeing that person no longer here, or what, what is that like? For you know? I me, mean, that was like, that was one of the first, like, that's I experienced for me. Mm -hmm. like, and then everything just like it all happened so fast. So it's like I'm not a young age, and I'm trying to for me cope with all this. Like, how do I deal with this? Yeah. I mean, and for me, I talk, I talk to people who have experienced similar situations as me. Yeah. And, and they just tell me, for me, you got to keep your head up, you heard. You got to keep living. You can't just shut down. Mm -hmm. you can't shut down. You heard. Do it. Do what that person would have wanted you to do. Be the person that person would have wanted you to be. You heard. Mm. That's real. Be with that, do what that person would have wanted you to do. Yeah. Fast. I, I feel like a lot of times when we deal with death, we the first thing we do is like shut down, close it, close off. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know, rest in peace to MG. Word. Um, yeah, that eyes, bro. Word. Um, uh, something, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people is talking about right now. And you could answer as much as you want to, which you don't want to. People talking about like the hats and Mac Ball is going at it. Is that, is that, is that like make things scary? Does that make things intense or anything? Um, I would say like sometimes, sometimes business is business. It's guys that do what they want, and it's guys that for me do what they have to. You heard? Yeah. I'm a I'm a real nigga. You heard? I'm gonna let niggas know for me. If you was somebody out for me, I grew up with for me. I don't like gang shit getting between now and I got going on with my brothers because a lot of the niggas I chill around, we're not all the same gang and shit for me. So I don't let a lot of that shit get in between us, you heard. Mm -hmm. I keep that out the family, you heard. What goes on in the street goes on in the streets, though. Yeah. Got you. Do people like kind of, do people kind of get mad at you for that? Like, let's say if somebody's hat and, and they see you. Talking to someone who's mad, would they would they be mad at you, or you kind of look at it like, yeah, yeah? How do you view that? Hey, yo, hey, yo, P, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't give a fuck how the next man feel you hurt. I don't give a fuck how the next man feel you hurt. Got you. Because it's like, 
it's like, bro, everybody's entitled to their own opinions. You could be mad, but somewhere else, the next man gonna be happy, or the next man happy that he that this is going on, you heard, mm-hmm. or the next man decide that this is going on. Like niggas, everybody's entitled to their own opinions. I mean, I don't care what people think, what what people gotta say about stuff like that. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? What's the what's the what's the conditions like for rappers right now? Uh, we 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 hear we hear so many uh, things. What your man AR said? Your man AR said he said the island is fucked up. Thank God that I lucked up. Mm-hmm. For me, I'm just praying I luck up. You heard the this shit is really fucked up around here for me. Yeah. Uh, in some aspects, it's getting better. You heard like. Yeah. To, to look like me for me, clear face for me, that's a blessing, you heard? Because around here, niggas get this shit cool, you heard? Yeah, damn. I mean, that's a, that's a big thing around here for me. Yeah. How, how, like, how often would you say you see somebody getting cut or some shit like that? Or, like... I mean, it, 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 it's, like it's like a wave. Like, I mean, it, it goes and it comes. It goes and it comes for me. Mm-hmm. It's a wave where it's like, that shit happening all week. Then it's a wave where it's like one a week. Two a week for me. Got gotcha. you, got gotcha. you. Damn, I know that's some scary shit to see. Cause like you said, you being clear face, that's a blessing. That's, that's a, a blessing. blessing for me. Word, word. And, and I'm, I'm trying to go home how I came in. Feel me, and I, that's one thing I don't play about. I don't play about my safety in here. Mm, word. How about like like eat? How about like eating? Uh, you know, do they? Is is the how's the food? How's all that? Like, let the people know. This shit, this shit is like school. School is suck. This shit suck. I mean, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I mean, fuck you, Eric, but it's like commissary wise for me. Go, you gonna get right if you if you shopping right for me. Eat right, you gonna get your weight off for me. That's I gained the lottery in this shit. <laughs> gotcha. You doing your push ups, your pull ups, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. That's that's another thing. I keep your mind right in here. Working out, you work out. You just get your mind right. Listen to your radio. Work out. Gotcha. Got you. I ain't gonna lie, Jay. I was uh one of the pictures I seen <laughs> with you in there. Your oh, wall was man. crazy, man. <laughs> oh, oh man, oh man, yo, that's not even my wall. I'm here for that. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for that. That ain't even my wall. You know, pre my son ties. My son ties to me doing this thing with the rap shit too. Pre my son ties to me. Oh go go. Bro, it was crazy. Yo, <laughs> everybody was commenting. Yo, these niggas is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. I seen that. I, I was like, nah, they wilding right now. But they gotta understand. They got you gotta understand. That's all we got here, you heard? That's all we got. Exactly, exactly. Listen, man, JS, I wanna say thank you for uh for your time. Nah, you know, nah, thank you for having me, bro. This was a blessing, you heard. I ain't gonna lie. Absolutely, absolutely. We we're gonna keep praying that everything works in your favor. Keep doing your thing and much love and success to you, y'all. Yeah, thank you, bro. Keep on with the, the interviews, bro. Don't stop, bro. Absolutely. Listen, man. Like I said, you know, I'm I'm gonna definitely keep be a man of my word. Put something on your books, and then you know, maybe later down the line we get another one in, and then we get one in when you come home. That's how we are gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, you know, stay up there, you heard? You too, you too. Thank you, bro. You already. Later. Uh-huh.